Tomorrow Pictures. The story is in the telling. We're the real hot chicks doing tough things. Tomorrow, pictures. If you can imagine what it's like to be in a boxing match, okay? Let me explain it the first time I did it. That'll tell you what it's like. The first boxing match I had, I fought a brand new crown champion. It's actually a champion that had one of the belts that I later got in my career, and she's heavier than me. Um, but I was real ignorant. I mean, I had a bad coach that, you know, kind of sold fighters out on the market. Um, we call it meat man. <laughs> they sell fighters to the highest bidder and make money off of them. They, they come in there to lose, to fight the contenders. So, you know, I had a fight like that, and I really didn't know how to fight yet. So uh, I saw her at the weigh-in, and I thought, man, she's not so scary. She looked a little rough. But the minute I got into that ring, I saw the other corner across the way, and it seemed so far away. And then she came into the ring after me, and she stepped in there and looked like a giant. And for that flash second, I was like, nobody's in this ring but me and her. There was nobody there but us. But there were all these people watching. And I felt like this was going to be the most humiliating <laughs> experience of my life. And all I felt was fear. I mean, it, if it was her and I alone at the gym, it would be different. But there were all those people, and it bore my soul because I wasn't afraid when I started. I wasn't afraid to take the fight. I wasn't afraid to train and think I was ready. I wasn't afraid even if I knew that I didn't really know how to fight yet. I wasn't afraid that she was a champion. I wasn't afraid that I went to Boston from Atlanta. <laughs> I wasn't afraid that the crowd cheered for her instead of me. What I was afraid of was humiliation. You can be physically hurt, you can be mentally hurt, but there's something about humiliation that burns the soul. And that's the one thing that boxing can do. I looked and there's no one there in that ring but her and I. There's nobody that can help me. This is just me, I, and I didn't know what to do with that. There's a potential of some real damage emotionally <laughs> when you get in there. So now I have to decide, am I gonna run? Am I gonna quit? Am I gonna let her knock me out? Am I gonna take a knee? Am I gonna walk out of this ring right now? Or am I gonna stand there and fight? And I decided, just don't get knocked out. <laughs> no matter what you do, just make it through these four rounds. I knew I couldn't win, but I just decided, just no matter what, fight like it's your life. Just don't give up, don't give up. And after the very first punch, I remember I went out there and bounced up to her. I didn't even know what I was doing. And she threw a jab. It almost knocked me out the very first three seconds of the fight. And I just, right from there, I was like survival mode. And, but I survived. I mean, I survived the fight. I was horrible. It stunk the house out. <laughs> but my soul was born because that night I knew that I wasn't going to go down. And I learned something about myself. I was like, I made it through that. Anybody else, other fighters in my gym, men that had careers like mine, and they were, that's all we had in there in that gym. It was a, you know, a lot of fighters that had really bad careers. They were used to losing. They all got knocked out all the time. But I didn't get knocked out, and I didn't even know how to fight, and I fought a champion. I mean, I was like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> but then I came back a week later, and I was like, I just need one more try. I can do it. You know, but I learned a lot about myself. You know, I, I was a fighter. This is TomorrowPictures.tv.